NHL Preview Show. I'm Chris, this is Brian, and that is Josh. All right, so now we're going to have a divisional standings. Now, Brian, who do you think is going to win the AFC North? Um, I think I still believe the Baltimore Ravens have to be the favorite because even though they lost a lot, um, just some of the other teams in that division, I don't see uh, beat them. I think Pittsburgh's on the decline. Defense is getting a little older. Uh, Roethlisberger's still a great quarterback, but I, I just don't see them getting to an 11-win team. Uh, Cincinnati's good, not great, and, and the Browns are the Browns. So I would have to say Baltimore at maybe 11-5 at 10-6 record, but they won't be a Super Bowl team, but they'll win the division. Nice. And on the NFC North? Now, it uh, may shock a bunch of you, but I actually think that the Minnesota Vikings are going to win the NFC North this year. I mean, yes, the Packers are, of course, the favorite. They have been for the last three or four years since they won the Super Bowl. But uh, the Vikings made a wild card spot last year. Adrian Peterson was this close to breaking the single-season rushing record. Um, they have a very, very depthful roster that could really uh, turn some heads next year. And... The Packers, I believe, will probably get a wild card. I mean, they'll always make the playoffs. They're the Packers. Um, you got the Lions. They had a really pretty bad year. I think they'll rebound, but not enough to get into the playoffs. And then you also have the the Chicago Bears, who, uh, if Jay Cutler can stay healthy, they might also get close to the playoffs. But it'll be a good game in the NFC North. Right, and AFC <coughs> South. Uh, AFC South is going to be a tough one. Um, it's going to be close. Like last year, the Texans and the Colts have to be your two favorites. I can see them both being playoff teams. But uh, the Texans, I think, are a little more deeper. They uh, they have more depth at receiver with Andre Johnson. Their defense is better. Adding Ed Reed, I think, would really help them a lot. Plus, they have Arian Foster. So I think they might beat out the Colts by a game or two in the division. Both will be playoff teams, though. Okay, and NFC South? Uh, NFC South, uh, kind of a weird division, but you got the Panthers, the Buccaneers, the Saints, and the uh, Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons did really good last year. I can see the Atlanta Falcons winning the division real easily, 12-4. and four. Um, Buccaneers won't do much once again this year. Panthers will get up in there. They may even get a wild card this year. I, get, I actually see the Saints declining a good bit, and that's my prediction on the South. All right. AF, I right, AFC East. Uh, the AFC East has to be the uh, the one with Patriots, but not by you know they're gonna be a team who I think will be good, win ten or eleven games. They're not gonna win twelve or thirteen games and be uh, get a buy. I think they lost too much weapons on offense. They didn't do enough on defense significantly. Uh, I just I don't think this team has the talent that a lot of people do think. They'll be like a ten win team. I just think their division's been so bad and it will continue to be that way that they'll win it again but a four seed, three seed for them, and don't expect a Super Bowl. And last but not least. Uh, last. Yeah. We also have the West. Yeah, uh, sorry. The Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys, you may hate them, but Dallas Cowboys are going to be um, real red hot this year. Des Bryant, Tony Romo will have a breakthrough year, I promise you. Uh, you may think I'm wrong, but Philadelphia declining. Uh, RG3 can't stay healthy, and... Um, New York Giants, they didn't have that great a year, and I don't see them having a great year this year either. I can easily see the Dallas Cowboys going 10-6, and 11-5. And, and that is all the time we have today. Well, for, for commercial. Yeah, for commercial. And, and when we come back, I'll tell you about the NFC West and, and who our zero picks are.